So in today's class, I just want to emphasize on the one candle support or one candle retracement. So what I mean is that there is a time that you'll be given, uh, you will find that the market has, uh, it's on an upward market. So you need to first understand what the market is doing. So you might have an upward market. And of course, upward market prints what? Prints uh, green candles. So the market is going on an upward direction like that. And then as long as the market is printing green, we do not have a resistance. For now, you should know the, the minute we say we have a resistance is the presence of a red candle. So the market having a red candle, that's when we have a resistance. So that presence of a red candle, we have resistance. And now for where we'll put uh, our line, it will all depend with the high of the resistance or the market where it has gone high. So if if the weak, uh, if the red candle has a week that is higher than the green one, that's where we place our support, uh, our resistance. So if the green one is the one that has a longer week than the red one, of course we will put where? We'll put here, you see? So that becomes our resistance. So resistance in this case is coming because of the presence of the red candle. So sometimes you might you might see that this market was going down. So this is a red candle. So the market was selling, then green candle, then the red candle. Of course, even if it ha we have the week, let's say we have a week like that, as long as the green candle has come, followed by red, of course, this is our resistance. So we will not focus on, on, on the red, the first red, no. We are not focusing on this red. We are not focusing on that red. Why? Because that red does not mean a lot, mm -hmm. but when the green candle forms followed by red, let's say even this is a like a spinning top, now this green candle, this area, it is a resistance. This area, the two area resistance. So what you do, you'll just adjust, just adjust. So today I want you to understand how you can create your own resistance and your own support. So even if this market continue to go down and then eventually buyers, they become more strong, will be checking, will they be able to break this resistance that was created in the first place? So you need to understand the one candle uh, support, one candle retracement. I hope that is clear. You really need to understand what I mean. So the market might be going up, down, up, down, up. And most of the case, when the market is going down, this is just one red candle. Most of the cases, one red candle. So it can be a big red candle and sellers are, people will be told that the market is going down. But what happens is after the red candle, the market does what? Continue to move up. So there is that one candle support, one candle retracement. So how is support now created? Support will always be created when we have a red candle, thinking sellers will continue and then green candle appears. Of course, we have our support. How is a, how is a resistance created? Resistance is created whenever we have two green or one green or five green, it doesn't matter. The number does not matter. Any green candle followed by red, we have a resistance. So this market is creating resistance and support in between. So here we have a what? We have a resistance. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if that candle prints red, so our resistance is here. The green one has created, the red has authorized a resistance direct. So if you don't understand this a video, you will keep watching. So we have a resistance. So in, in short, support, this is our support, So this is support. 
So support is created by what? Support is created whenever you have a red candle followed by green. Resistance is created whenever you have green candle followed by what? By red. Resistance. So your resistance is created whenever you have green candle followed by, followed by red. So now let's try and look for examples in our chart. Let's try and look for examples in our, in our chart. So let's try and look for examples in our chart. So for instance, this is a resistance. You see guys, this is a resistance. The minute the green candle appears here, it is a resistance. And if, if, uh, if here you think you don't have a resistance, you might be mistaken. Many people will point out that resistance because it's obvious, but I want you to start seeing resistance that is not obvious. Already the green candle created, buyers attempted to come. So if this buy market is coming this way, if this buy market is trying to come this way and um, they find out they, they want to do what? They want to break through and they cannot, it is because of the resistance. So again, you need to understand how resistance is created and it is very, very important. So you'll find, you will find that whenever the resistance is, uh, whenever the resistance is created, even if it's a green candle, then the red candle happens, it creates a resistance. Then the market comes and breaks that support, uh, the, the previous support. So today's class, I want you to observe your market. I want you to really observe the market. And I want you to always pick a chart. For instance, mm -hmm. we could not have, let me try to, to, to cut this. As long as this market is going down, as long as we have the red candle, the green one, we have resistance, yes. Red, red, red. Do you know we don't have support? The only support we have is the previous support. I'm talking about the support that is current. This is a support that is previous. So even if I come and I put my line here, I'm relying on past data. It's not good necessarily to rely on past data. Yes, you can put your horizontal line because it's a zone, but always say that is a temporary support. Why? Because many people, if you come, if you put support like this, and you, you think, oh, this is support, the market will still buy. You know it is a trap, why? Because many people will start buying because the market is doing what? It is getting rejected as this support. Why can't we wait to look for our own support? And how do you look for your own support? You wait for green candle to happen. So even if right at this moment, there is no support, you see, we don't have support because we are, uh, we are, we are dealing with this leg. This is called a leg. Every market, if the market decides to go one direction, is one leg. So this leg, there is no support created. Why? It's red, green, red, 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 red. So we do not have a support. Support is created once. Let me write it for you because I know it is like a tongue twister. Support. Support is created once a green candle prints. Support is created once green candle prints. So support is, support is created once green candle prints. So the green candle prints, the green candle prints we have a support. So at the moment we, ha we just have previous past support and past support sometimes it has uh it is at uh, it is very weak because it it had holded uh before so let's try to see what we have now we have support and our support we will put it there you see where now i'm dealing with this market this is how to place your support guys even if you find the market going downward never rely on this even if you rely on this, it won't help you for the long, the, the, long, the long run. But if you rely on what you can see, now we have a new support. And we do not have a resistance. Why? Why don't you have a resistance? Because resistance can only come after a red candle happens. So we only have our 
support. So I will write support. I'm trying to show you how to you mark your support. Don't rely on what it is given there. They give you to trap you. They'll always give you to trap you. So this is support that has been given. Now we are looking for resistance. Why? Because we want to see which side is stronger. Because they might, you might have that this support broke. See, the previous support broke, but the market is going up. We don't know if it will continue going up for a long time. We don't know. What we know is that the, the support that we can see, we have witnessed not a previous support, but support that our eyes, and it is called current support. It is not just support, but current, current, current support and uh, previous support, like support that this support happened on October 26th. This support happened on November. So this support is for last month. This is for the new month. There is very much difference. Very much difference, guys. So much difference. So at the end of the day, you need to understand what you're dealing with, with and what you're getting yourself into. You need to understand what am I dealing with? What am I getting myself into? What am I, what is this? What is all, what is all this? You see? So at the end of the day, as long as we don't have, let's say a green candle print, we don't have resistance. And you know, many people don't know how, I don't know if you guys know how to, to, to mark your resistance if or, or you just rely on resistance that is provided there. Many people don't know. If now we have another green candle, there is nothing, like we don't have something to work with. We just have resistance. The one that I told you, remember me telling you this is your resistance because we got a green candle followed by red. So we got a resistance. Now we have just green candles. Even if the market might come here, we don't have a resistance. But now let's be looking for a red candle to appear for us to get the resistance to work with. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's let's see. The next candle is a uh, indecision candle. So indecision candle in this case, it's a red candle. So what you do you have a resistance created. So in short, this is our current resistance. Just because that indecision is red, current resistance. So in this case, you might know, you will be, you will say if, you will say if buyers are strong, let them break this resistance. This is where now you start, this is the position now, you can now try to look for resistance or support break because it's current. We say if those are stronger, let them break that. If they are strong, let them break that. If they are weak, if they are weak, let them do what? If uh, buyers are weak, support uh, the sellers also, also they will break that support. So you are you are stranded. You can't trade inside because we don't know where or which direction the market will take to. And the market, you can see sellers are attempting to break that support. Let's see, they are attempting again. So buyers come in. So we already, we have a resistance and, and the only thing you can do here, you can even adjust your current resistance. So if you get weeks that are a bit longer, you just adjust. And now you're waiting to see the direction. And you see, most of the time, the market will range because they want you to trade inside that zone. And we can't trade inside the zone. So once you have something like this, it is evident enough that your support and sellers are more stronger. Imagine if you entered by because you thought this is a support that was rejected and uh, we need to buy at support. This is what I tell people. You don't need to buy at support. You just need to monitor the market at support. So many people bought and they lose that trade. So the minute the market breaks like this, you know that your, your, the support that, you, you, that was created, it's most, most stronger. So what I will do, let me now give you a good example. There's an example I want us to go through uh, so that we can finish with... Um, we can finish with that. We finish with the 
support and go to resistance. So I want us to look at this. And um, so the market is going down, the market is going down, but what we don't, what we don't know is that we have one candle. You see this one candle, this one candle support. This red candle, hey, don't ever assume one red candle. It means a lot. You see this candle following each other, they mean a lot. This candle means a lot. These two candles means a lot. The red one and the red one, these two candles means a lot. So what you do, you will always mark that as your support because this red candle represents sellers coming. And, and once, and I've told you, it is support, why? Because if there's a presence of a red candle, regardless it's a doji, regardless it is a, a, a spinning top, as long as it's red, you need to understand this and you understand good. As long as it's a red candle followed by green, anytime you see red followed by green, what we have beneath is support. It means for a whole day, 24 hours, sellers could not push the market any further, creating a support. So that's what it means. So we have a support, even if it's just one red candle. Followed by what? Followed by a green candle. So it is if it is red, red, we don't have support. But if it is red followed by a green candle, we have a support. So what happened here? We have a support, red candle. And what did I say? Where you put the where you put your your line of support is the low, the lowest week. You can see the green candle. Eventually, this green candle was red, but buyers, uh, the sellers were rejected and the candle closed while well, it was green. So what happened here is whenever we, 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 we have uh, from the body to the, because that's how we draw our support. You draw one line from the body like that. And the other one to the weak. One to the body, the other one to the weak. I hope we are together until there. Many people didn't see that support. You can see it. So let me let me show you what people saw in this chart. This is what people, many people will see. Many people will not see that. Many people will see something else. So many people will not see that. Many people will see something else and I'll show you what everyone sees. So people will see a ranging that was broken. A double top, let me show you. This was a ranging market that was broken. You can see the market broke and it is going down, right? So this market is broken, going down. And then we have the this distance. So of course we know that the market will go this distance. That one is clear. We know this market is a sell. It will go that distance. Now this is what everyone will see. Not everyone will see. This is a, a red one. I'm calling it, if you watched the today's video, I'm calling it one candle support, one candle resistance. Not many people who, can know this is a one candle support, one candle resistance. So I'll come here and put the pattern that you are saying. It's not just a support, but it, it can be a possible, this market can be a possible what? Double bottom. I don't know if you saw it, but it can be a possible double bottom. So we can have a possible double bottom. You see, we can have a possible double bottom. So even if it's just one candle, and USD card loves this. They love placing or leaving one candle behind so that they may manipulate the market. So this is one candle support and the market you can have a double bottom, um, double possible double bottom. When you see this, you can have it. You can have a possible double bottom. We can have a possible double bottom, but uh 
not many people who will see the double bottom because how would you explain that you can have support with just one candle if you even don't know now i'm telling you i'm disclosing this i'm opening it to you you see even here it is another support and many people will come and put support here because they can see so many red candles but this one candle is very very important so if you have your possible double bottom of course you need to have your zones in place you need to have everything in place let me show you for because you have understood about our possible double bottom this one become your neckline we need to look for half and i believe i was i was i was teaching today about different types of double bottom so this is again a double bottom on an uptrend very tricky very very tricky because we don't know if this market wants to continue to buy when it is here or it wants to continue to sell so it is very very tricky a double double bottom on an uptrend you you this market can reverse it can reverse and that's exactly what i said the market can come here touch there and break that and reverse big time so at the end of the day we need to really understand we need to really we need to really understand how do we go about it so when the market reached there we can see it is evidence that where the market was supposed to go the box was exactly the half of that box so the market was around that zone so let's play and see what happened to sd card so we got we get the first green candle so we get the first green candle and you know for double bottoms how we trade double bottoms we put a box like that we do you use wbb for those who don't know but you you have to know up to now because already it's your last class so how do you trade double bottom using daily time frame you it is three signal rule you wait for you wait for red candle uh, for green candle you check if it is engulfing so this market was to engulf the whole candle if it would have entered at the early stage but it has not engulfed so you will pick the second one which is the box you put the box and wait for the box to break so that's how we could have traded usd card it was easy but not everyone who got it actually i'm still i'm on a sell on usd card i gave a sell and i'll show you where i gave that sell so the market the next candle didn't break the box and that's when i started to suspect this market uh need to yes we are we are on a sell on this trade and and the reason why guys um i didn't believe the buy because i was like i i saw this i i saw this but there's a way there's a place where i had i knew that this market would retrace and i was waiting on that so i remove the box and we start again i always say wbb whenever you have the green candle and you're waiting for the box to break you have a green candle waiting for the box to break and a red candle prints remove the box and start again so in this case we want either a candle to engulf that is the first thing we want a green candle to do what to engulf the red so it's step by step we want the green candle to engulf the red if not we do wbb so let's see what was the next candle so the next candle was still a green candle so we will put the box we put the box and we wait so we put the box and wait. So as we are waiting, let's see the next candle. Again, we have a what? A red candle, we remove the box. So I knew this double bottom, they, they want us to confuse us to think buyers are, are not able. And you see now where the resistance is, the resistance keep increasing. So unless this resistance is broken, we can't do much. So again, so I was just monitoring. I had not gotten involved. The market has not engulfed. Engulf meaning breaking. So we do what? We use the box. So we use the box to have confirmation on this trade. And you see where the market was giving us entry for this buy, that's when I became suspect. I was, I was not okay with this trade. Why? Because um, I was like, why give me the buy uh, at this point? 
and uh, the market might retest. So watch what happened. Actually, this I had given the sell for the first time. We came out because of news. And then yesterday I gave out the sell again. And because of news, now it has messed us up, but it will still sell. So the next candle was a red candle. So my instinct was right. And using BWA, for you guys who know, after resistance is broken, followed by a red candle, we have BWA confirmed. So this BWA that was being confirmed, we were being told, yes, you can sell, but sell short term. Because again, this market wants to touch the green line. I think that was what I missed in this trade. They had they had like purpose. We will we have to reach that that zone. So the sellers continue to go down. The market sold. Let, let us see how it it did. So after after the red candle, uh, the next day the market kept selling. The other day kept selling. And then this was Friday. Friday, that's when the market gave us an entry, second entry. Remember for the first entry, the first entry was here. So you could have gone drawdown of how many pips? 134. And even if you are on a buy, remember trading, let me tell you, if there's something you will learn in my mentorship is to be patient. And if you have a structure and you have a story, you can hold on to your story for more than a week, two weeks, because it will give you discipline. Remember for me, the reason why I'm selling is because of the first pattern, the channel. The market has to go all the direction. It has to go all this way. That is the story. That's the, our first story. So this market, even if they do what, they have to go all that way. So my, for me to observe the sell, I was in a point of they have broken. You can see they have broken this support we have a retracement and we have gotten a bullish a bullish a bearish candle so the entry was okay but remember we have a, a we have um it's called what we have a pattern inside a pattern so they will first obey this double bottom and it's because of this red candle they know many people won't pay attention they know many people won't pay attention on that red candle so they know not many people will see that possible double bottom. So at the end of the day, you see on Friday, this market had already given a buy up to here. So already it was confirmed, like buyers had already said, we are going all the way, 221 pips. We are going all the way. So for me, even if I, when I was analyzing this market, I was not confident to sell. Why? Because it's a green candle. I cannot sell. Uh, for me, I was disappointed when they did not. Um, let me show you where I was disappointed. I had put my support there, waiting for this cell to break. When they did not break, that's when the red flag started. But I said, if they come back to this zone, you see this resistance zone, I'll be confident. So if you entered this by using daily time frame after waiting for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, on Friday at midnight, that's when you are told you can enter the trade. You see, this person, if they were patient, they enter the market on Monday, the market was right. But on Tuesday, draw down. On Wednesday, draw down. On, on Thursday, draw down. Friday midnight, draw down. Now they are told Monday is when your trade is paying off. So as we, we entered the trade yesterday, it's just one day in drawdown. So let's hold the trade to, to the end of the week. Maybe we don't know what will happen. I don't know how many people are still holding USD card, but I can show you, just hold it. This buy is just to confuse people. So if you if you entered buy immediately, the drawdown you could have gone, it's 132 pips. So you enter buy and let's see what happened. The first candle on Monday, Big time, the market gives you the money. So when the market touched here, I was just observing. I was just observing the trade. So on Monday, that's how we got a very big candle. Then now yesterday, 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 it's on Monday. We have a very bullish candle. Now today, this is the candle we have. Very momentum. We don't know how it will close. And we don't know if, the, and, and you remember, they know if, if it breaks here, people will 
target neckline, but there are so many obstacles to make this trade not to continue to buy. There are so many. From weekly daily, from weekly time frame, we are supported. There is another block. So just hold, and you'll see how holding means and what you will learn from holding. So for USD card, we have a block here. So even if the market can break like this, it's not an indication to tell you that the market will finally do what will finally sell. And and mind you, on lower time frame already we we were given like a good sell but the market didn't do according to what it had said. So that's to show you that power of one candle. So I don't know, can you just comment to tell me if you knew about one candle support? Did you know about one candle support and the power it holds or you have learned today? So that as this session is ending, as this session is ending, what we can do, um, we can come back and try to look for one candle resistance and the power it holds and then now maybe we can end with bw with bwa so that as i'm ending as we are ending this class i don't want to leave you guys with so much confidence with your setup not and then you come back and and tell me what was wrong why did my i i you you taught me this part 